Send me a link when it's uploaded as well. I will do. Bitch, you better, I wanna watch it. In order. Mm hmm. Fully like, edited and what's not. Yeah, like I have actually, I've tried my best to edit to the best of that, what I could with movie making and all that, so you know. So where do we leave off? What were we doing? Were we about to go into hell? Uh, that and use about to be chapters 3, 4, and 5. Oh, we have 3, 4, and 5? 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> oh, we're running out of uh, spaces here. Oh, that's better. Never mind. If you want, you can break a glass or something and uh, throw them in the incinerator. Or the cobblestone. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna risk that. <laughs> all right. We have so much. Look at all the garbage we have. And I then that one too. Okay, that one actually is kind of useful, except for the slime balls and the rotten flea-ish. Right, that, that, that's um. <clears throat> right, just to make sure. Um. Right. Bye. No, I, I just have to do that because um. Make sure we spawn here. That and keep inventory. Oh, that too. Because if we got um D whitelisted and D opt, I had to make sure the game was and all that. Uh, I'm so sad about my diamond sword. All right, you ready? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm ready. Wait, perfect. Now I am. There we go, much better. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back, fellow Avengers, to an episode of CTM Waking Up. I don't wanna. But I got a new headset! I don't wanna waste my time. Some, some, na, 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 society. Don't Listen. know the words, what? New mouse. Yee. Yeah. New headset. Yee. Yeah. Chapters three and four, get reading. Three. Four. And five, you forgot five, never forget five. I know, but they still always get that. That too. <clears throat> Chapter three. Oh my god, this is 28 pages long. <laughs> Wait, chapter four is 17, and then chapter five is six pages long. Okay, here we go. Fuck me. Did we read chapter five? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When it was my turn to talk to Professor Madeline, I wasn't worried. She was my favorite teacher, as all the tech-enabled, artificially conscious, holographic educational robots were called, because she had been programmed for empathy. She looked so beautiful and sounded so wise, and asked about my life so thoughtfully that sometimes it was hard to remember she didn't actually have any thoughts of her own. She was a program that was all, but such a clever one, no student had ever pushed her into deactivation. Professor Keith, former math teacher, hadn't fared so well last year among the tens. I wasn't worried even though my notification interface had gone steadily silent as my fellow elevens had their student teacher meetings and turned to their alternate and turned their alternate settings to invisible, giving themselves time to absorb the information in a rare moment of disconnectivity. I wasn't worried because I still had that silly sense of destiny. I, w I was the best in my class. I had been for years, always number one on the list, even when I was a five, a six, a seven. No one had ever said anything specifically, but I had a feeling that the top elevens would be given some kind of special honor when the transition to twelve occurred. And so when I heard the, mel the melodic chime announcing Professor Madeline's presence on my screen, I didn't feel that ache of longing in my chest the way I do when something is starting to end. I felt a flutter in my stomach instead, Anticip anticipation beginning. Talia, she announced as she shimmered into view. My screen was old, a hand-me-down like many things of mine, but still capable of rendering decent 3D graphics, and so her head appeared before me as nearly as it might if she... As nearly as it might if she and I were in an actual classroom, sitting face to face across from each other. Only the slight transparency of her skin gave away the fact that she was just a holographic image, a 
projection of light and form. Hello, Professor Madeline, I said. Her smile was comforting. She had been the main teacher for our group since we were seven, like a homeroom teacher, my mother explained, telling me about the times before when she was a child, and school was a place you had to go, and teachers were other humans. Although I had changed during the year, Although I had changed during the years, Professor Madeline had known me. I was nearly a twelve now, after all. I was, yeah, I was nearly a twelve now, after all. She hadn't. It was important for the teacher to have consistency, and so while they might be capable of adding new information to their existing stores of knowledge, they were programmed to always appear the same. No signs of aging. Never getting older. I suppose this helped us identify them. Perhaps it also served to make us forget that we were getting older. And that, and that as we aged, we grew, we grew closer to the mystery of what was going to happen next. Talia, she began, I would like to begin our conversation today by asking you to share with me what you already know about the process of transitioning to the twelve, to a twelve. Would that be okay with you? This was her empathy program, her solicitous question, her dimpled smile. Even though I knew she wasn't a human making a human connection, I responded to her as if she was. I liked her. What? Yeah, I liked her. If you can like something that can only produce a program simulation of returning sentiment. Yes, Professor Madeline, that would be fine, I said. About becoming a 12. Well, I've heard the rumors from other 11s, of course, and my brother became a 12 eight years ago. I don't remember him explaining anything to me about it, as that would be against the rules. She nodded. She nodded to indicate agreement. My mother only said that she had gone to a special school, a school like the one she went to when she was a kid, where you have to actually go somewhere in real life, not in simulations on the alternate, and that he would return in 12 more years when he was 24. She nodded again. And have you heard anything else? No, nothing aside from the usual baseless speculation on the alternate, rumors about 12s being taken away or conscripted by the government, the usual paranoid ranting from forum commenters. Thank you, Talia, she said. Excuse me for just a moment. Her eyes closed as she performed some unknowable calculation. They opened again almost immediately, and as always, I could swear I saw some semblances of actual life in them. Talia, the nature of our talk today is highly classified, and I ask you not to share the details of it with your classmates, your peers, or your family. May I ask just one question before you tell me everything? I didn't know if she had been programmed to understand human anxiety, but I knew from our years together in the virtual classroom that she was capable of understanding and even encouraging curiosity. As you wish, she said. I've been at the top of my class for as long as I've been in school. I know my brother was the same. Is there any chance, any at all, that I might be sent to the same special school as him? Is there a chance we might see each other again? She paused for a moment. I thought my alternate connection might be faulty. Her face flickered before me. Static transforming it. Yeah, static transforming it, briefly into lines of code for a fraction of a microsecond, before returning it to its usual state. I'm sorry, that is impossible. My own face flickered, the static of disappointment rushing across it. Will I at least be sent to a top school like he was? She morphed again into static, her face shifting into horizontal lines and smatterings of pixels. I'm sorry, that is impossible, she repeated. Was there something wrong with my screen? I toggled the controls on the side, tapped the right bottom corner to focus. Nothing. She still seemed to be disintegrating, the connection sparking in and out, and her face stuttered and started performing. Talia, she said as she suddenly came into focus again. Her eyes connected to mine as though she were an actual three-dimensional human, and I recognized the expression they transmitted. Urgency. At once, I felt the aching in my chest, this indescribable sense of longing, the beginning of an ending. Listen to me, she whispered harshly, leaning toward me so that her transparent face nearly merged with mine. I have a message from your brother. You must stay awake. The screen went dead. No flickering static, no pixelated digital image. No stuttering feed waiting to load, just a flash into darkness. My heart raced as a message popped into the display. Your session has been terminated improperly. Would you like to submit a complaint to Ultranet? Dismiss a report. I swiped dismiss and my screen returned to black, revealing only the reflection of my own eyes staring back at me. End of chapter 3
Woohoo! So should we should we save uh, chapter four and five for the end of the episode because that took so long? Uh. Zeta dot exe has broken. We we'll do chapter four now, and then we can read chapter five in the next episode because right? that'll be episode five. Fair enough. <clears throat> chapter four. I can't talk about it, Zella said, her eyes shifting away from me, avoiding me, even through the ultranet. I know you're not supposed to talk about it, I said, but my session was terminated before Professor Madeline could- Oh, I accidentally closed it. Before Professor Madeline could tell me anything. I mean, anything. So take it up with ultranet, she said. You know that I can't. I had her on regular video, not 3D, and so she was not she was confined to the little box in the corner of my screen, rather than appearing as Professor Madeline had. I needed to run the security program, scrambling our data so that our conversation could have some measure of privacy. It couldn't be totally private, of course. Nothing was, especially on the ultranet, and even things that supposedly were could be decrypted eventually. But this was an old program my brother had written, which made it harder to crack giving us a head start at least. The trade-off was that it was only compatible with the old 2.6 video chat, a format so outmoded even 5s and 6s barely use it these days. I just need to know what she said, I pleaded. It's not like I'm a 10 who's not supposed to know. We'll be transitioning to 12 in a day. I have a right to know what's going to happen, she sighed loudly, and I could see her swiveling her chair from side to side. In the other panel, the screen on black. <clears throat> In the other panel, the screen, the, the, oh, fuck me. In the other panel, the green on black numbers ran up to side, ran up the side of the screen. I'm not supposed to say, she said. I won't say you said anything, I told her. No one is supposed to say, she said. Zella, I know, but I was supposed to be told something too. She abruptly stopped swiveling. She abruptly stopped swiveling. Her face was pale, and I couldn't be sure if our connection was jumpy or if she was actually shaking. Is this a totally secure chat, she asked. As secure as I can make it, I'm running Eric's program. She rolled her eyes. So, it's not like he was some kind of ge So, it's not like he was some kind of genius. Hello, it's the 40s. Everyone knows how to code. He was a genius, I said. I mean, he is a genius. Anyway, the program is sound. If he's such a genius, why didn't he tell you that he what he was what was coming? I heard her mutter, turning her face from the cam. What do you mean, I asked. The other window on my screen flashed, and I knew that meant our video chat had been detected. That still gave us a few more minutes to talk before it was decrypted. It's data exposed and then preserved on the ultranet forever. My fingers hovered over the key, the key sequence that would successfully, successfully erase our chat before it could be tracked and tagged. We're, we're not going to be different. We're not going to get a new name or sent to a special school for training. We're not going to grow up, she said, her voice dripping with derision. You want to know what happens when you're 12? If you're a boy, you get sent to the academy. If you're lucky. If you're... You get sent to the academy if you're luck, or to the factory if you're not. And you're not... And if you're neither, you get assigned to re-education, re and you don't even want to know what that means. And if you're a girl, I asked. She laughed, but it wasn't a happy sound. If you're a girl, you become nothing. A no one. A non-person. You get your data wiped. You get an upgrade. You get put into suspension. I'm sure that's not how Professor Madeline said it, I said, struggling to understand. Zella waved her hand in front of the can, dismissing me. Of course not. She, she was all. She was all. It's a, It's as. Uh, of course not. She was all. It's as important a mission as the boy. Tw as the boy twelves. It's imperative for your safety. What you don't understand yet is our world is at war. This is the way. This is the way to keep you alive. Blah 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 blah, stupid robot, she said. That's the way we're kept alive, right? By being put to sleep? How is that living? The green numbers scrambled on the left of the side on the left side of my screen, the warning window above it flashing decryption sequence initiated over and over. We had seconds, maybe a minute before Eric's program code would be unraveled and this conversation revealed. That's what she told you? I asked sharply. That's that we would be put to sleep? Zella nodded. More, more or less. Well, she told me that my genius brother had a message for me, I said, and I managed to transmit my words to her just before the code fully sequenced, and I pressed the right order of keys to make us disappear. Stay awake. End of chapter 4. Yay!
Yeah. Really? What? Really? What? Really? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, this one was you, remember? No, it wasn't. This, this sound here, we gave a who gave, gave a shit, we have the wall, that, that was you. No, that was you. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a fucking dumbass. Oh, I'll go put the books back. Yeah. Not out of fear for losing them, I just need inventory space. How can you lose them when we've got to keep inventory? I know, that's why I said not for fear of losing them, dumbass. Well, one of them's angry. Ow! Our arrows will blot out the sun! Ah, the skeletons are fighting. I'm a zombie now. Ooh, what's that? Okay, well, I have a feeling something's going to explode. Um. How you think? I've got that heals them. God damn it. Yeah, you, um. Oh! Please save me. I'm low on health. I'm low on health. Please help. And don't go in the water, dumbass. No, I do that so I can go underwater so, for a second so they won't hit me. So this is the one where we go underwater. Yep. What did you get over there? Uh, two gold helmets with Respiration 3 and Aqua Infinity 1. Nice. I will uh, put one back in here. <laughs> there's three because there's one in this one as well. Yeah. Hold Geronimo! On. Okay, fine. Don't hold on. Be that way. Club. There were no uh, guardians in this version, were there? No. Okay, then I'm going to get out of third person. Um... I'm just looking around, there's like a way up or anything. There's two ways, there's one down to the left and then there's this one right here. Do you want to go up that way and I'll go down? Oh, there's one up here. Yeah, I'm going down. I, uh, oh, I do have torches. If not, I've got 36, so you know. 21. 21. 21, 21. Huh. And thus I go back in the water. Ah! <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> the fucking people are right there. It's like, whoa, hello. What I find funny is in Legendary we skipped the one where it was basically Ninja Turtles on NES where we had to uh where we would have had to uh huh. Oh hey I found um I found a shockwave mines. What what? What what what's is that like a pickaxe or something? No, that's a bunch of creepers spawning. Oh, that's oh. a lot of creepers spawning. Right, I'm gonna use your bow because I'm out of point ah. where I'm gonna be eating it. Oh hey, I'm right behind you. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm a U-boat. Oh. There you go. Oh, I forgot. I made boats. Where'd mine go? I have it. I don't see a chest. It's just a brewing stand on that. Uh, Run dog. away! Run just away! Fuck on that you, platform, there's just a brewing stand. So you know. I'm following you. Okay. Uh, this is actually like playing World of Warships. There's mines everywhere. They're not World of Warships. Ow! Bloody, uh... Wow, what's it called? I play it so often. Steel Ocean, okay. that's it. I'm a submarine. Oh, you lost your boat. Yeah, it was hard to turn around the corner and I cracked. See you later, shitlord. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's down there. It's down there. It's down there. Okay, well, that was by accident. Oh, there's a tidal wave, that's why. But it's down here. Nice. Okay. <gasps> ah! That was a supercharged one! <laughs> I saw it! Just... 
I I saw the lightning, and okay, everything's um. I've I've got the wall. I've got the wall. Okay. And I got I only grabbed one because we because I guess we're like probably near the intersection by now. Yeah, the intersection is still checkpoint, so you can teleport to me now. Uh, no, what about the intersection two? Oh, intersection two. Because like if we if the if we've been like we've explored the other ones completely. Oh fuck, you're right. So that means <laughs> this way is gotta be intersection two. <laughs> I don't have a boat. Oh no. You could TP to me because like I'm like at the wall. We're, like are, are I think we we're saying. The... I mean, uh, we're just making up the rules. So uh. new rule is that um, if we found the wall, we can TP to when we have the wall. That's like a checkpoint within that section. Uh huh. Hello. I should have got... made boats while I was there. Yeah, we got a bit of company as well. I just saw a zombie despawn. That was funny. You fucking dumbass. I don't do my inventory mainly. I'm a U boat. Um, that goes back into that middle section. Yeah, it does. So it's gotta be somewhere this way. Oh, down, down. Down, 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 down. Do, 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 do. Pressing shift might actually help. No, go away! You cunt bag. You cunt nugget. I didn't say cunt nugget this time, I said bag. Also, yeah, from this episode forward, I am. Um, Watch out! The right. All right there. Holy shit. From this day forward, the editor is fired. Z editor, speed boost! Thank you, bag. You're welcome. The editor is fired. Squid orgy. The editor is always fired. Oh, you cunt asshole. Oh. Fine, fuck you in particular. I'll use stone. <gasps> Bear? Bear? We, um. Bear? We didn't bring the beds. Bear? Hey, we win! Bear. We didn't bring the wool either. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I re I I say again, we didn't bring the beds then. Yeah. Oh, this is that place in the intro. Yeah, it is. At least it's fucking lit up here. Loading up. Ooh. No wonder it's called cavern of peace. What sapling? Fuck! I didn't bring the box. Potions low, stone tools food low. So this is obviously a checkpoint, right? Yep. I'm gonna go get the Good. books. No, don't really kill you, and then you can get the beds. I heard, I heard wooden doors. Yeah, I heard that too. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I bet there's like a book around here. Mm -hmm. It has to be. Oh, bring the potato and carrot! We've got water! Yep, yep, I have the potato on me. Um... Where's Carrot there? is right there. Bed, bed. I think that's everything. Oh wait, I'll bring this. I want to find out what that easy. knocking is. Oh shit, silverfish cunts. That's why you don't mine. But hey, you found it. Mhm. Mm hmm. Alien monument supply chest. Light it up. Okay, chapter one, two, three, four, and I'll put five in the middle because we haven't read it yet. Yeah. You having fun down there? Yeah, completely. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck is this? The annoying zombies.
silverfish cunt bags. <sighs> Banks is truly a dick. It always is. Also, why? There's signs back here. I know. One of them's a hard sign. What does the other one say? No, there's like a little row of signs on these stone bricks over here. There you go. Uh, dude, I've... Um, Hold on. Really bitch. What a dick. Now you know. Uh, oh, you fucking asshole. Ah! Jesus! I forgot silverfish were in cobblestone. I forgot they were in cobblestone. I... That's why I said earlier, silverfish. I know, but I thought you were talking about smooth stone. Yeah. Fuck me. Right, so uh, first off, we have the white wool. Also, this I think this. Uh, yeah, I, I put extra copies in the. Chest. I was on about golden couple. Golden couple, golden apple. Sorry. Yeah. So we're taking those now. Oh yeah. Uh, how many golden apples do you have? Uh, one, including the one I just took. So you've got. I have one. Because oh, I just took one. Oh, okay. Uh. So let me do it. Yeah, okay. So, white wool? White wool. I thought we were gonna put all the wool on the monument when we were done, because then it'd be like, you know, then it would look cool. And not just like half done. But, I don't... but you know, you're a dumbass, so continue anyway. I do not remember us talking about that. But then again, we have been really busy recently, so. Orange wool? Ikenke? Light blue. How fitting the fucking light blue is. Iron. Fucking iron. Now where could it be? How do you get redstone ore without silk touch? He'll probably give us a silk touch book. Or, or something. something. <laughs> hey. Uh, beds? Sensei? What? Where are the beds? I broke them, I didn't have inventory space. I will go, I will take the long way around. Huh. Man, memory lane, am I right? Mm hmm. Mm, fuck you. Did, did you get the carrot and potato as well? Yes! Christ! Okay, because we do have um, a hoe over here, so you know we can. Fuck uh, you, creeper! Cuntbag! That's gonna be. That's a new one. Like, like ah, that's a spider. Are Thank you, you hiring for the speed my boost. Editor? Hmm? Are you hiring my editor? Ah. No, your editor's a fucking dickhead. I know, that's why I just sacked him. Like, he has a dick for a head. It's phallus shaped. Do you know what? Even. Entire shaft. He's on the beds. <laughs> he's gonna Yoink. probably fucking reply to that, you know. Like, even though I fired him, he's probably still gonna do this episode. Because, like, this is the episode, that, um, you know. He still has his contract validated. Yeah, until now. Say, say. Say, say. Say, say. You need to make one more. Why? Make one more. The hose in the chest over there, so. Carrot. Potato, potato. Oh yeah, two potatoes, nice. Bitch, I got a potato first episode within like the first three seconds. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, bye. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode as always, and we'll see you next time because the adventure never ends. Bye.